Fans have a lot of strange superstitions, and one of them is the meaning behind a player's jersey number. The jersey change past. It means linebackers and DBs and running backs can wear single digits. We love to see a QB wearing 10 or 7, but 19? Yikes. It's hard to explain, especially to a non-sports fan, who might not understand the junk science behind it. But it's true. So let's take a look at 10 NFL players that need to change their numbers ASAP. Let's start this off with a couple of popular young signal callers, Josh Allen and Kyler Murray, both of whom seem to have made massive errors with their number selection upon entering the NFL. I understand that Murray wanted to keep the number one, which he wore during his Heisman Trophy winning season at the University of Oklahoma. And in his defense, there have been a couple of other great quarterbacks over the years to wear the number, like Warren Moon and Cam Newton. But there is a big problem. And that, my friends, is that Murray, who allegedly stands at 5 foot 10 inches, looks insanely short wearing the number one. Not to mention the fact that he has been wearing the number one since he was a kid for that exact same reason. Because he was always on the shorter side and getting tagged with the smallest jersey. I know it doesn't really matter how tall Kyler looks. His height is his height. And he possesses extreme athleticism that helps him overcome the disadvantages that come with his miniature stature. But at a certain point, you have to control what you can control. And you can't convince me that strapping a zero behind the one and wearing number 10 wouldn't at least give him the illusion of being close to six feet tall. And who knows, maybe he'd even command a bit more respect from his teammate coaches and ownership, all of whom he appears to be at odds with as number one. Allen, on the other hand, well, his number 17 just looks strange on a franchise quarterback. Save a couple of exceptions over the years, like David Craig, Steve DeBerg, and most recently, Philip Rivers. 17 feels like the number that you give to one of the two guys that are duking it out to be the third string quarterback in training camp. It's more for the guy you took in the sixth or seventh round, and not the star of the team, which checks out considering that the last Bills quarterback to wear 17 before Allen was Matt Flynn. Allen, like Murray, made the decision in the interest of continuity, as he wore number 17 during his days under center at the University of Wyoming. The Bills superstar QB is certainly doing his part to improve the lore around number 17. But the way his career is looking, you have to think he'd be better suited as a 12, like so many of the greats you know, provided Jim Kelly wanted to pass down his legacy and give his blessing to take the number out of retirement. Allen isn't the only star NFL player whose number doesn't really fit billing for how good he is at the position. In fact, three of the best cornerbacks in the league over the past few seasons have also found their way into rather questionable numbers and ought to make a change. Take Baltimore Ravens cornerback Marlon Humphrey, for example. He has been one of the most imposing defensive backs in the league since becoming a full-time starter in 2019. He made All-Pro once and two consecutive trips to the postseason, including the 2020 season, in which he forced a ridiculous eight fumbles. And he likely would have earned honors again in 2021, had he not missed a quarter of the season on IR. Yet for some reason, he wears the number 44. Something you would expect to see on a bruising fullback, or maybe a bulky linebacker. Charles Woodson, Ty Law, and Darrell Revis wore 24. Primetime wore 21. Sleek, speedy numbers, not 44. Jalen Ramsey and Stephon Gilmore, both dominant quarterbacks in their own right, are also doing themselves a disservice with their bizarre number choice. Both Ramsey and Gilmore took it upon themselves to switch to single digits when the NFL made the strange decision to allow more flexibility with the range of numbers available to players at certain positions. Ramsey went from 20 to number 5, a decision that cost him an exuberant amount of money because the NFL required him to buy out over 300 grand worth of jerseys in order to make the change. And somehow Gilmore's decision was even worse. Maybe not momentarily, but still. He swapped out 24, the premier cornerback number, for number 9, which looks downright wrong on a player at his position. He switched from 27 to 24 after his rookie season in Buffalo. And now we have two of the best corners in the league wearing single digits. Yeah, at least they can take some solace in the fact that their choices pissed off the GOAT.
Tom Brady, because he claims the wide variety of numbers will give the defenses an advantage, as it will be more challenging for blockers to identify which players are blitzing now. Seems a bit like old man yelling at the clouds to me, but hey, Brady has seen more football in his 20 plus years than most will in their lifetime. Maybe he's right, either way we can't be having our elite corners wearing single digits. Or number 44, like Humphrey for that matter. It is especially weird when a star player changes numbers. Again, it might tie back to how strange our brains are as sports fans. But take Julio Jones, for example. We all watched him dominate in Atlanta. Pretty much ever since the Falcons took him sixth overall and he first slapped that number 11 on his back. He's seen seven Pro Bowls, two All-Pros, and a seemingly endless supply of receptions. And yards. And touchdowns. All as number 11. And now that he's wearing number two, most recently as a Tennessee Titan in 2021. The guy can't even crack 450 receiving yards in a season, and he's been in and out of the lineup constantly. The logical part of the brain suggests that after 10 years as a focal point of the offense in Atlanta, maybe now he is just in the twilight of his career and not the receiver he once was, especially considering the physical style of receiver that he had traditionally been. But I can't help but think that maybe if he found a way to switch his number back to 11, that he would snap back into form. While we're on the subject of wide receivers in need of a number change. How about Keenan Allen? The Los Angeles Chargers wideout is in the midst of five consecutive Pro Bowl seasons. But I'm surprised every time I see him make one of his ridiculous sticky fingered catches because he does it wearing number 13. We've seen some great players like Dan Marino and Kurt Warner wear number 13, but they were quarterbacks. When you think of great wide receivers, you think 81, which the likes of Randy Moss, Anquan Bolden, Torrey Holt, and Calvin Johnson wore. Or you think of Jerry Rice, Andre Johnson, or Donald Driver wearing 80, not 13. And if that isn't enough reason for the speedy wide receiver to make a change, how about the fact that the oft-injured Allen is continually tempting fate wearing unlucky number 13, and he has continually battled injuries throughout his career? Coincidence? Maybe. Maybe not. On the other side of the coin is Jordan Akins, the utterly forgettable tight end who played his first few years in the league for the Houston Texans, and is signed with the Giants for 2022. The former third round pick out of Central Florida has been hogging the number 88 since he broke into the league, and in the time since, he has amassed just 114 catches for 1,260 yards and three touchdowns, wasting a legendary receiver's number. Don't mean to disparage the guy. I'm sure he works really hard and all that, but 88 is a number associated with some of the best wide receivers to ever step on an NFL field. Legends like Drew Pearson, Marvin Harrison, Michael Irvin, and more recently, Des Bryant and Demarius Thomas, just to name a few. The list of great pass catchers to wear 88 really goes on and on. And then you have Jordan Akins. It isn't just that he's a tight end. We've seen other tight ends like Tony Gonzalez and Greg Olson rep the number well. It's the lack of offensive production that really gets us. But that's enough Aiken slander for one video. Moving back over to the defensive side of the ball. How about Nick Bosa? The San Francisco 49ers edge rusher wears number 97 as part of a family tradition, as his father John wore 97 for his three-year NFL stint in the late 80s. When he was a defensive end for the Miami Dolphins, which I guess would be kind of cute in a weird, over-involved family sort of way. You know, if his older brother Joey hadn't switched from 99 to 97, the same year that Nick entered the league and overshadowed him. This isn't to say that Nick hasn't been a great player in his own right. I mean, he posted 15.5 sacks last season in a fantastic bounce back year after a nasty ACL tear against the New York Jets cost him 14 games in 2020. There's no denying that Nick can play, but when your big brother has been selected to three straight Pro Bowls and four out of five only missing in 2018 because he missed over half the season. You would think you might want to carve your own path. At least I'd want to. Oh, and if you're wondering why Joey wasn't wearing 97 when he originally broke into the NFL, if it's such a big family tradition, it isn't just because he was waiting for his little brother to make the league so he could alpha him. In fact, Joey actually wore 97 both during his college days at Ohio State and in high school because a former Chargers linebacker and second round pick was wearing 97 at the time. Joey even toyed around with the idea of switching in 2018 when that other guy left the team, but decided against it when he found out that doing so would cost him upwards of $500 thousand dollars because of how many of his number 99 jerseys were already in production. The defensive end was wise to do so because in the following offseason, the Chargers decided to make a change to their primary uniform colors, which meant that Bosa no longer had to pay a dime to change his jersey number to 97. I know the Bosa's are into the whole one big family thing. Come on, Nick. Now that Joey's beating you to it, might be a time to consider a new number. Lastly, we have one of the more obvious entries on this list. 
Alvin Kamara. The New Orleans Saints running back is one of the most exciting running backs we have ever seen in recent history. He's absolutely electric with the ball in his hands. A huge factor in the passing game and has the power of a back twice his size. Yeah, we see him rocking 41, a fullback number. And if he was this determined to wear a fullback number, then he could have paid homage to former NBA star Andre Kirilenko and gone with number 47, which along with his initials of AK, makes for a pretty cool nickname. Needless to say, it would align nicely with Kamara's explosive running style. Otherwise, he should have just slapped on one of the traditional star running back numbers. Like 32, which Jim Brown, Marcus Allen, and Garrett James wore. Or 21 like LaDainian Tomlinson or Ezekiel Elliott. 41 just makes you think of a bulky fullback. The team would trot out once or twice a game in their jumbo package. Time for a change, Alvin. Which NFL player do you think needs to change their number ASAP? Join me in the comment section below. Make sure to follow myself and TPS on social media. We post great content all the time. Instagram, Twitter, TikTok, YouTube, we're on everything. Go subscribe, go follow. If you like this video, give it a like. It takes one click down below and subscribe to TPS. We post videos all the time. Of course, thank you so much for watching. I'm Jason Miando. I'll see you next time. On my knee. Bye.